Welcome to the Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzolio, and we also have co host Matt Dalton. And remember, here at the Deck Network, it is all decks all the time. Okay, Matt, you uh, settled right in with that tag. Yeah, I practice that 20 times in the mirror before I go to bed at okay. night, so we're getting it there. All right, okay, today's show, we're going to talk about Trex decking. Okay. And the video that we're going to show up on the screen is the Trex video that I took at the Las Vegas show. Now, there's a lot on the video. They have great railings. They have all sorts of different products. But Trex has so many different products that we're just going to go with the decking now. If you want to see some of the other products, just look into the library of the Deck Network videos because you'll see the uh, the rain escapes. There's two videos on that. That was one of my favorite. Videos yes. Then we there is the uh, we have the. The, the steel framing, there's another video another for that. one. Got then a lot we, of comments on that yes, one. Yes, then we have the, the Trex railings, and then we also have the lights. So there's a lot of different products, and so uh, let's get into some uh, emails, because... Uh, They're get, coming in fast yeah, and furious, Yeah, actually, Mike. I went into the YouTube, or well, one of the YouTube channels, uh -huh. and I found about 60 emails that I didn't even know they were there. And you're getting back to everybody? You're responding yeah, promptly? I'm, I'm doing that, yes. And that's okay. a big deal, so... We, okay, we let's take a that. look at this one here. It says... Really nice to read up-to-date information. I guess there's always a lot of old information on the internet, so... Well, think about that. How quickly you can get information on there is just as long as it could sit up there. So, if you're watching a video from a couple years ago, even a couple months ago, it could be dated information. I was reading an article about YouTube. It said that there's, they have 70 hours of video uploaded every minute. That's wild. So... All right, getting a bit or two on Trex Transcend decking to replace our 20-year-old pressure-treated lumber deck. Saw an article where they mentioned using the decking boards as railing and attaching the aluminum balusters to them. Does that sound feasible or is sagging a problem? Mm. After looking at some pictures, I'm thinking that the decking boards would not be strong enough to meet code. Our deck is at least 9 feet off the ground. Can a pressure-treated lumber guardrail be used with the Trex Transcends and then stained afterwards to match the Transcend treehouse colors? How about using 2x4s on edge, this and that? Hmm. All right. So decking is a lot like people. After 20 years, it's starts to sag in certain places. Yes, it or? does. Oh, yeah. But it, it, as long as you take, if you take care of it, it's going to hold up a little better. Okay, here's the answer to that one. All right. When a deck fails, people get hurt. Mm. When railings fail, people get killed. So wow. if you make a rail out of, you know, nailing or toenailing a couple pieces of decking and attaching some balusters on it, but you don't use the proper hardware on the corners, and then you're up there with your friends and you're horsing around and you're nine feet you're up. You're wrestling around, you got twelve beers in you, you're yeah. kind of just And you're your gonna thing. go right through that rail. Ugh. Railings, and I always tell people, because at my store, we only sell rails that are ICC or International Code Commission approved. Okay. So when the engineering company gets these rails to test them, they put 500 pounds of weight against the hardware mm. to see if it holds. Now if you toe screw a little screw and tap a few nails into something no good and you put 500 pounds against it you're going that's not going to it's going to fail yeah. so and when a deck goes down a deck fails you usually know about it anywhere in america and the bulk of them you're seeing the railings and, and the that's, railings that's are where the more catastrophic injuries mm. occur so right. make sure where you're getting your material from, it's the code with, yeah, with you, the groups. You can't just build rails out of 2x4s you, because you got to have the proper hardware. Mm. What happens if somebody goes through a rail, the lawsuits start. Oh, yeah. And it's going to end up with a person who built the railing, and if they don't use the proper ICC approved rails, they are liable. Mm. So we certainly don't want that to happen. So protect yourself, protect your investment, and obviously protect you, the ones around you. I, from what I understand, you have an announcement to make for the... Uh... Yes. A lot of research has been going into how we can make these videos that much more informative and that much more engaging for you, the person at the end of the computer watching this video. The writing team here at the Deck Network came up with a new feature. Next week, we're going to roll it out. It's called the Deck Network's Show Us Your Deck. Here's what we mean by it. Send us photos of your deck. We want to show it up here on the screen. We want to make you an internet celebrity on our videos. Getting tons of views here. Let's let the rest of the internet community see your deck. We'll give you some pointers. We'll give some critiques of it. And don't be embarrassed of what your deck looks like. We'll make sure it gets the spotlight that it needs. Yeah, like, Matt, like Matt, he has a very small deck. 
But I'm, you still, you still proud. I'm of proud it. of it. I'm proud okay. of it. So send the photos in. Mike at the Deck Network, Matt at the Deck Network. We want to make your deck a celebrity here on the Deck Network. You see, someone right there is sending a picture in. That's how quick it happened okay, with the so, internet. All right, let's take a look at this video. A lot of great information. Here we go. Okay, hi. Today we're with an old friend of mine, Mike Anurko from the Trex Company. How are you, Mike? Mike is a veteran of the Deck Network. So, um, what's doing? Uh, a lot of great new products this year at Trex, and so um, within the decking side, um, we continue to expand our Tropics line with the addition of Tiki Torch, so really to have an array of colors to, to really allow us to attack a, a variety of different markets and architecture. Um, again, same with our t Transcend technology um, with a, a, a renewed grain pattern and the streak board. The Tiki Torch has really gotten a lot okay, of Okay, you have a tremendous... Products display here. Let's go right around and look at it. Sure. Now, okay, I can see here on this one, we have the Tropics decking, the, uh, the spice, spice rum, rum and the lava, lava rock. rock. Uh, and the, then, can you look up here? I mean, I'm just, this is just the, the nicest display I've ever seen. We have our vintage lantern railing. Of course, it work goes in great with this. And of course, the deck lighting, the de LED deck the light, lighting. The lighting. Now, um, and then here's Tiki Torch, our, our yeah. latest Transcend color. This is a new one for 2013. We started getting it in, I think, in August or September. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Late it's, it's, a, it's a lighter alternative to the traditional colors, the Spice Run and Lava Rock, that we have in the, tr in the Tropics line. Okay. And so uh, one of the other aspects we wanted to do to attack this year was really uh, providing a, a, rail, a deck and rail system to, to each uh, distinct uh, consumer base. And so with the addition of Trek Select decking, and we'll talk about railing in a little bit, we now have an entry price, uh, entry price point system for uh, a capped composite decking product. And so um, this, this replicates our accents colors in saddle, woodland brown, uh, Madeira, and Winchester gray. And uh, we expect to be a really big uh, big seller for us in 2013. It looks great. Is that the, uh, that's the saddle. It's the same grain pattern and color of our current accents line. Um, Really, you know, coming out of 2013, we'll we'll ultimately have um, our complete portfolio of ultra low maintenance products, mm -hmm. so all cap products. All right, let's come right around. Look at the display. Okay, we have the rain escapes, mm -hmm. and uh, of course we we have uh, Griff Overton from Rain Escapes did a video last for spring. I'm sure we'll see him again. Uh, we've really done a, a tremendous amount in railing this year, again, for, for a few different areas. Uh, one, we're introducing our, uh, our Trek Select railing system. Again, uh, really back to getting to a good, better, best price point position with our railing products. And so, uh, so this is an all composite rail system that, that um, is made from the same Fibrex technology as our Transcend system. So it has some shared components. Um, an external bracket system for for um, increased speed of installation and uh, and price to compete with hollow vinyl rails in the marketplace. Okay. Additionally, uh, within our Transcend, our premium line, uh, we've added a new profile we're calling the beveled profile. And so what we identify in, in many markets that, that are not colonial in nature, the need for a more contemporary looking profile. And so we've taken the opportunity to develop this rail profile that can act as both a top as well as a bottom rail profile. Uh, it looks extremely well, good with glass, um, as well as tubular balusters. Mm -hmm. And so really an, an, a, an additional expansion to our Transcend railing category. So again, as we talk about our Transcend rail system, um, one of the real benefits that we've got um, to competition in the marketplace is we've got a lot of versatility, now having three unique rail profiles to be able to configure rail in a, in a variety of different configurations. Here you see it um, installed with a 2x4 as a top rail. One of the other benefits that, uh, that really often goes unnoticed is, is really the, the construction of the product. Uh, with Fibrex technology and specifically in our colored lines, um, in the darker colors, the cap on that is, uh, is an acrylic cap, and the benefit of that is, is that it will not fade over time, where uh, many of the other composite systems in the marketplace uh, uh, that don't utilize acrylic uh, struggle from this. What you see on day one is what you see down the road. Mm -hmm. now, that's very important, and not everybody knows that that's a, that's a part of this, that the acrylic coating, very important. And so the last thing uh, we'll talk about today is, uh, is Trex Reveal. And so it's uh, Trex's interest into in the aluminum railing market. And so uh, 
Again, what we identify in uh, in our Western markets is a lot more prevalence towards iron and aluminum. Um, so one of that's one of the driving strategies behind it. The other is uh, is having a continuous graspable rail. As we get into uh, more strict code enforcing markets, uh, having a continuous graspable rail on a stair section specifically is critically important. And so bringing this line in allows Trex to provide a rail system that gives us that continuous graspable rail application. The, the additional thing that uh, Reveal brings to uh, the Trex uh, family is the opportunity to get into some projects and some applications where we weren't today, whether that be hardscape, um, multi-family, uh, multi-story type applications, as well as commercial. So, so we really feel like Reveal, uh, you know, along with the other additions to our line, are really going to expand Trex in 2013 and beyond. And you have so many different products here. You look at look at right up here with the, the pergola and the dark brown. That's stunning. You don't see that anywhere. Mike, thank you very much. Mike, it's great to see you. you again. Thanks to, for being on the Deck Network, and hope to see you again soon. You too. Great. All right, Matt, what did you think of that Man, video? Mike from Trex knows his stuff, huh? Well, oh, yeah. Anytime that I've ever been down to Winchester, Winchester, Virginia is where Trex is made. Beautiful old town. It's just really nice down there. And, of course, Trex being a very large company dominates the whole town. It's a, a great place to go, but... Trex country over there. Yeah, Mike knows his stuff, that's for sure. But... Um, so we have some of the material here to yes, take a look at. Yes, let's take a look at some of the, the products. Now... Trex was the first company to introduce alternative decking back in the early 90s. How was it received back in, when you saw it back well, then? Were you yes. like, is this going to be around to stay? I, you... I built some decks with the Trex back in 92, which may mm -hmm. have been the first year that it was introduced, and I was I didn't love it. Mm. But Which you can uh, yeah, expect I, with something new if I you were married to. I warmed up to it, and um, of course it's... It's come a long way. Yeah. They've everyone's had their growing pains with the cap or the composite decking, with the fading, staining, and molding. And now Trex doesn't even make a composite decking anymore. A standard composite decking. The whole category is called composite decking mm -hmm. because, by definition, a composite is a, no, a a mixture of a bunch of different materials. So it's still the composite decking, but the old composite decking of the old days. We're phasing that out and in favor of products that have a more durable, a fade and stain warranty. So what they'll use is they'll use the standard composite decking or platform and cover it with the polyethylene on it and they can offer a fade and stain warranty. So that would be a capped composite. A capped composite as opposed to what we all talk about is they, we, we, a lot of PVC decking. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, this is their select decking that Mike Anerko was talking about mm -hmm. in the video. It's on a, a Trex accent plate, but uh, I had the... Uh, one, one of the of our, network minions. Yes, we have, well, we have a carpenter, my own personal carpenter, Marcos. We'll probably is, fire him at the end of this. No, 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 just no, kidding. No, Marcos, Marcos is a great is, guy, does great work. Yeah, yeah, Marcos is great. So he made this up for me just a few hours ago. But we have the, the same names as the accents line, mm -hmm. Saddle, Woodland Brown, Madeira, and the Winchester Gray, but they have a cover of the polyethylene and uh, the proprietary additives involved with it gives it a longer warranty i think this may just have a 20-year warranty as opposed to the transcends line that has the 25-year warranty mm -hmm. it's a little thinner on the cover mm -hmm. but nonetheless it's a great product yeah it looks sharp and yeah it looks real nice let's go right up the line this is their enhanced line and uh, this product was made for Home Depot, and I have a lot of friends at Home Depot. We like the Home Depot. Yeah, Listen, we, Big Box has its challenges, but we like them here. Yeah, yeah we like everybody. Yeah, we, we Home Depot is more for the do-it-yourselfers. Yeah. And, uh, Which is fine. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. they're all right. But if you want a specialty type of thing, yeah, you know, you, you, come, you, you, you come you to the pro out. dealers like we are. I have a lot of friends at Home Depot, and so they're I cool. just, they're a people. lot of great A lot people. of them watch these uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, watch these videos. Do. So here. this product was made for Home Depot. They wanted their own line. Mm. So they have the, in the two colors, the Beach Dune and the Clamshell. Nice, rich, a brown and a gray color. Yep. It comes grooved, so you can use the uh, Trex Hideaway Clips. Usually at the uh, at Depot, they just have it in the 8s, 12s, and 16-foot lengths because you can't fit a 20-footer no through those doors. But uh, we don't carry it. They don't want us to carry it. That's fine. But uh, my friends at, at Home Depot have that. Now we're going to get into the Transcend line, which is for the pro dealers. This one is their, 
the top of the line, they have a, a subcategory of the category. So they have their transcend line, which is the category. This has they, been out for a while. This is this was introduced in 2010. Sold a bunch of it. Oh, we sell a lot sell of this. Tons of it. Yes, it has a more aggressive grain on it. It's a little deeper. What would that be good for? Around pools or going into a front door. Better traction. Yeah, you're gonna you get a little bit off. more. Yeah, it's, it, you have to worry about uh, extra stain, uh, fading if there's chlorine from the pool hitting. Okay. It's not gonna do anything not to this stuff. Bump. This stuff Can't is durable. It. It's, it's it's tough, tough stuff. The uh, the Trex Transcend decking, I say, is the most durable decking. Whoa, you're putting that down on video right now. Okay, you can quote me on that. Wow, that's okay. the endorsement right there, yeah. baby. Great stuff. It has. It comes in five colors: the Treehouse Vintage Lantern, Fire Pit, Gravel Path, and the Rope Swing. They, the Good Trex has a full line of railings that match this, and as we all know about Trex, and we already say this all the time, their design flexibility is second to none. Well, you have an app that you're going to show later on that oh, yeah, makes yeah. it so functional. Yes. It's uh, out okay. of this world. Okay, so then we're going to get into their... This is their higher end deck board. Mm. This is their Trex Transcend Tropical Colors. We have the Spice Drum, Lava Rock, and as Mike told us on the video, their new color is the Tiki Torch. I like that. That's hot right there. Generally speaking, it's accepted in the industry that PVC decking is better looking than capped composite decking, but these three colors here... are changing that. They may have changed that a little bit. Wow. So, people come to me and they say, well, what's the best decking? Well. It's what you consider the best decking, not what I consider the best decking. A couple will come up to my into my uh, showroom and they'll be, you know, of course a husband and wife, and they'll say, what's the best decking? And so I start talking to them. And the women is always 70% aesthetics, 30% warranty, durability, maintenance, that type of stuff. The guy, on the other hand, and I'm not saying that men are always more practical than women, or they're gonna you? they're gonna be seventy percent durability, low maintenance, that type of thing, and thirty aesthetic percent is. aesthetics. This product here pretty much has covers all the bases on that. It's very very good looking. It's durable as all heck. Twenty five year fade and stain warranty. So you're not fussing with it once it's up. You're you're just oh yeah. I mean, and your Trex has been it. through all that with the fading, staining, and molding. They're not playing that anymore. No. They just go. They're just making straight great capped composite decking. I like that spice rum too. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of uh, the beverage here. Mm -hmm. the network. How do we put it all down though, Mike? Okay. The groove boards are put down with the Trex hideaway clip. This stuff has a real nice price point to it. It's not a stainless steel clip. It's plastic, very, very durable. You're not going to break it. Mm. With a stainless steel screw with a little black colored head on it, it gives a quarter of an inch gap, which about 10 years ago, Trex came out with, with that as their standard. And of course, it was adopted by the whole industry as a standard quarter inch gap. Some of the other companies, like uh, TimberTech has a 3 16 gap. Azac says you can make it anything greater than an eighth of an inch but you need a you need a gap and I'm fine with the quarter inch gap because you got to have ventilation to go through you need to have leaves got to get through if things are too close together stuff's gonna get stuck in there and that's gonna start affecting yes uh, yeah the so you don't really I, I like the quarter inch gap and but of course you use this around on the field and if you have a picture frame and on your stairs you can't really use groove deck decking so you'll use a non groove board and we use this product here Cortex by my buddies at Fasten Master I sell one box of this with every deck because somewhere you're gonna have to need the screws and instead of putting screws on nobody wants to see the screws when people spend this much money on decking they don't want to see screws on the top now yeah. of course you can you would use a on this type of decking the cap composite decking you would use a composite screw so you don't get any of the mushrooming on it of course you know what that is watch our videos there's yeah. a whole <laughs> segment on mushrooming but uh, the cortex works great we have uh, there's videos in the uh, deck network library about fasten master a few of them and how to attach non groove boards you can also use the uh, the hit fast gun that I have one right here, this this baby Whoa. right here. It's a nice this, piece of uh, machine. Yeah, right it works. There. This probably, I think uh, they may suggest you using it on a groove board, but this is fast. That's built for speed right this here. This built, is built for speed. And, men, and Mark mentioned the, uh, 
the Trex app, and if you saw my video with uh, Stephanie from TimberTech, she yeah, tempered. I saw that. Kind of brought a new co-host on for an episode. I was he like, what's was up with that? Jealous, you know? Oh. I'm the co-host here. What? Just some beautiful blonde comes in and she's the co-host. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes you know, I like I have it's a lot fine. of fun. She with did you. a great yeah, job. She Stephanie. did a great. She did a great job. Yeah, she did a great job. What's okay, this? The app. So now. this is the app. Cool. We get if you, you can. Uh, they have. Let's get this thing fired up to our network here. So there's three different decks. There's, man, I have a great wireless setup here at the Deck Network. So we nothing but top of the line stuff. Yeah, so we, you can network. change the colors. Oh, look at that! There's the decking, the decking colors. So this one, particular one, is uh, is the gravel path. So, but if you want to make it lava rock, you can do that. Changes the colors. Oh, wow! This is the deck visualizer. You can they do have, that with the railing and the fascia. Sure, as yeah. Well. They have the fascia oh, boards. That's great. They have the railing colors. You can change all the railings. And of course, Trex has their design flexibility. We're going to be selling all the Trex railing in separate parts. Mm. So you can have your top rail one color, your bottom rail another color. Think about how beautiful that will look. You, beautiful if contrast. everybody wants to have something different than everybody else. You don't want it to be boilerplate. You want it to be customized. And with this application and the way that it's being uh, you know, categorized, you can do that okay. real easily. Yeah, it's just a, uh, I mean, this is, it's a lot of fun to play with. And uh, we're using it here at the Deck Network or in, and just to uh, help with sales downstairs at the store. And a it lot takes of a lot of the guesswork out of it. Yeah, you can you can visualize. Well, that's what it's called, a deck visualizer. And that's it. So yeah, that's a great little app that they have. Uh, you, of course, you, if you wanted to, you could. Again, we're back to what we were talking about before. We must we missed this one. Is that we have the uh, the camo tool? Ah, the old camo tool. Yeah, so you can. Uh, I remember when we deal, built your deck at your house. Didn't uh, you had camouflage underwear? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was to match the camo Wait a tool. What happened to the beard? Oh, the beard came off. Oh, we got a bunch of emails. They wanted to see the facial hair go, so that's what we do. It's a democracy here at the Deck Network. If you want something changed, for example, Mike's glasses, you got a bunch of emails on your glasses. Oh, Next yeah. thing you know, you show up with these designer when frames. You, when you get as old as I am, the, the eyes are the first things to go. And so people were writing me emails, busting my chops about my uh, my glasses that I get if I'm at an airport. And or, we have a top-notch stylist team here, so we made the changes and yeah, checked so these specs I got some, out. I got some fancy glasses. That's pretty fancy stuff and, right uh, there. I'm afraid to take them anywhere because me and glasses, I just lose them. You probably them lose them or break them or yeah. something. But. So, uh, Another great episode here. You want to keep the emails coming in. Mike at thedecknetwork.com. Matt at thedecknetwork.com. Send us pictures of your deck so we can get them on the next video. That's it for today. See you next time. As Matt would say, ciao for now. Bye now.